Hi, Rabbits and Eeyores. Happy Monday. I hope you had a great weekend. Today is Monday, March 30th. And today, Mrs. Clark is going to read you the story, The Hare and the Tortoise. This book has been around Pooh Corner for a long time, you can tell. Even when Mrs. Clark went to Pooh Corner. That's right, I went to Pooh Corner and I was in the rabbit class. So I'm gonna read you The Hare and the Tortoise. Does, do you know what a hare is? Not the hair on your head, but a different kind of hair is what? Oh, I bet you know it. You're right. It's a rabbit and a tortoise. What would be a tortoise? Oh, you're right again. It is a turtle. So let's open the storybook and start reading. A hare and a tortoise were having an argument. The hare who could run very fast, thought he was much more clever than the tortoise, who could only move slowly and had to carry his house around on his back. The poor tortoise, he carried his house around. But the tortoise did not agree. To the hare's surprise, the tortoise challenged him to a race. We will run from here over the hill through the hedge, then along the carrot field to the old cart. He said, the hare laughed, I am sure to win, but we will race if you would like to. News of the race spread quickly and the birds and animals all gathered to watch the race. The tortoise will not have a chance, cried the fox. Wait and see, said the owl. You never know. The cock offered to start the race. The spectators stood back and the cock swelled up, ready to give the signal. Oh, there's Mrs. Clark's son, Jackson. He says hi. Cock-a-doodle-doo! In a flash, the hare was off, flying over the grass. The tortoise had hardly moved. He's having a hard time getting started, but the hare has taken off. In a few moments, the hare had run over the hill and reached the hedge. He looked behind, but the tortoise was not in sight. The hare stopped to nibble on some tasty leaves. Uh-oh, he stopped to eat. The tortoise plodded on and came to the hill. It was hard work for him to climb it and the birds called encouragement to help him on his way. What do you think they said to encourage him? Come on, tortoise, you can do it, you can do it. Climb up that hill, hill. keep going, keep going. The hare had finished eating the leaves in the hedge and dashed off again at full speed to the carrot field. He was very fond of carrots and could not resist stopping to eat some. You know how much rabbits or hares like to eat carrots. He ate and ate until he was so full he had to lie down and sleep for a while. His tummy was so full. The tortoise had only just reached the hedge. He was already tired, but he kept walking slowly on. At last he reached the carrot field, but the hare was too fast asleep to notice him passing by. <gasps> Look what's happening, boys and girls. The rabbit fell asleep because he had a full tummy and the tortoise is going by slowly. Suddenly the hare woke up. He stared in astonishment toward the old cart, the winning post. The tortoise was almost there. <gasps> what do you think the hare's going to do? The hare ran as fast as he could, but it was no use. The tortoise had won the race. Look at that, that tortoise who was moving so slowly, he won the race. 
Slow and steady, he won the race. All the animals gathered around the tortoise while he told how, in his slow and steady way, he had won the race from the quick and careless hare. That hare, he stopped. He thought he could win, right? He was so fast, he thought he could win. Even if he stopped to eat leaves and if he stopped to eat carrots, he fell asleep. He thought he could still win, but that tortoise, he kept on going so going and moving slowly, but he kept on. And with encouragement, he won. So Rabbits and Yours, that book is called The Hare and the Tortoise. I hope you all have a great Monday evening. Be sweet, take a good bath, brush your teeth, and go to bed. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good night.